Hey guys, so how hard is it to learn the guitar? That's the question that a lot of people get. People say, I'm not musical, I don't know what I'm doing. Literally, I have no idea how to get started. I'm never even going to try. I'm 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and that's the mindset that you're kind of stuck with. So, some people would love to learn how to play it, but really, if I had to keep the answer very, very simple before I dive into everything else, the ultimate thing is, if I show you how to play a, a mini chord, let's just say the C chord, and you learn how to play it, and you're like, this isn't working, and then you see me play it, and then I've, I play it perfectly, the difference between me playing it and you playing it, it's not that we're any different. The only difference is that I've played it 10,000 times and you've played it once. <laughs> That's the only difference. You know, you're like, why are my chord changes not working? C to G, you know, E minor to F, whatever it is. And it's because I've done it 10,000 times and you've done it once. So it's not that I'm any better than you. It's just I've done it more times. That's all it is. Um, okay, yeah, there are, people say some people are naturally talented at things, but for me personally, for all the people I know who uh, play famously, they have spent hours upon hours upon hours repeating, 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 gigging, gigging, recording, recording, over and over and over and over again. And um, that's why they're really good at it. It's, it's just... It's not something that everyone's gifted with. Even Ed Sheeran said uh, he had a recording of one of his first songs and it was sung, you know, pretty... It was it was very average, basically. It was really bad. It wasn't perfectly in tune. The chord changes weren't perfect. and But he just kept going at it. So learning the guitar is a dream for many people sparked by the desire to create beautiful music or play their favorite songs, express oneself or simply fulfill a lifelong passion. However, the journey from novice to proficient guitarist is often accompanied by challenges and obstacles that may leave aspiring musicians wondering how hard is it to learn the guitar? So we're going to talk about some different factors that contribute to the difficulty of learning guitar and offer insights to help aspiring guitarists navigate this enriching yet demanding pursuit. So at first glance, the guitar may seem re relatively simple compared to other instruments. With just six strings and a fretboard, it appears accessible to beginners. However, beneath its seemingly straightforward exterior lies a world of complexity. Mastering the guitar involves a combination of skills, including fretting, so that's when you put your fingers on the actual guitar. So that's fretting, strumming, then finger picking, or you can use a pick like this, or finger picking, chord changes, rhythm. Star playing and music theory comp comprehension, so understanding the music theory. Each of these elements requires dedicated practice and patience to develop proficiency. So, when people talk about repertoire, it's like how many songs do you have under your belt? But you could take that one step further and say, What is your repertoire of fretting, strumming? picking techniques, chord changes. How many chord changes are in your arsenal, in your locker, that you can just pull out at any point? How many rhythms do you know off by heart? How many finger styles do you know? How many you know, bits of music theory do you know? So having all of those repertoires that build up and have a massive treasure chest of things you can draw to play new songs, but also to create your own, it's, you know, it's really powerful. So one of the initial hurdles aspiring guitarists encounter is physical discomfort and fatigue. Pressing down on the guitar strings to produce clear notes can strain the fingertips, leading to soreness and calluses. Additionally, maintaining proper posture and hand positioning while fretting chords or executing intricate melodies demands muscular endurance and coordination. Beginners may find themselves grappling with these physical challenges in the early stages of learning. So that's just something you've got to power through. It's not something that's just going to 
you know, happen naturally, unless you're like some sort of builder and you're, you're used to working with your hands. But again, even that top bit of your finger, is it going to be calloused? I don't know. You can get these thimble, these kind of rough silicon things you put on the top of your fingers, but that's just prolonging, you know, the, the little bits of discomfort when you first start. Achieving technical proficiency on the guitar is a gradual process that involves repetitive practice and refinement of motor skills. Novices must familiarize themselves with fundamental techniques such as fretting, strumming and picking as they progress. They may delve into more advanced techniques like hammer-ons, so that's where you hammer your finger on and pull off is when you pull it off. So famously that's um, the thunderstruck. That's way. So that's when he's not picking on this hand. Slides, so that's when you slide the. So it's the start of. Um... Hey Joe. Then bends as well, that's another thing. That's used in lots of styles, and each technique requires precision and control, and mastering them often requires consistent practice over an extended period. But having said all of that, you don't have to get it perfect, that's the main thing. You just got to keep having a go and just keep trying. And even if it sounds terrible, just have fun with it. That's that's what it's all about. It's about expressing yourself, having a hobby, learning, and it's learning a new language essentially, and getting your fingers to do what you want them to do because you haven't spent much of your life independently moving your fingers to work in in that kind of way um, so there you go next beyond the physical aspects of playing the guitar understanding music theory is essential for aspiring musicians so this is something a lot of people shy away from they're like music theory that sounds really complicated why would I want to learn that and I, I understand. <laughs> the only time I started learning it was when I did a couple of grades when I was a kid. So I did piano and violin grades. Um, and the other time is just from teaching. So I've been teaching for about seven years now. So I've, I've been almost forced to answer questions that people have asked me. It's like, why is it called a G7? Why is it called a D major 7? What's going on there? And at first I didn't know. So I had to go out and research it. So then the next person who asked me, I was like, this is the reason. And they're like, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> they don't understand. Okay, so learning to read music notation, understand chord progression scales and music theory concepts adds another layer of complexity to your learning process. While some guitarists may choose to focus solely on playing by ear or using tab, a solid understanding of musical theory can significantly enhance one's ability to compose, improvise, and communi communicate musically. So some of the most famous, um, best guitar players in the world, uh, obviously that's um, up to your opinion, but you can let me know in the comments who your favorite guitarist is. But a lot of them didn't know how to read music, or they might not even know how to read tabs. They probably just use their ears for everything, and they can still be proficient in playing the guitar, and that's absolutely fine. What I've personally found is that when I learned how to read notes, which again, I only started to do when I started to teach, because some people are like, I want to learn how to do note reading. So then I was forced to learn. The main thing it, it helped me with was number one, reading music a lot faster and reading chord sheets a lot faster. Somehow, I don't know what the connection was, but I was able to read chord sheets extremely quickly, like complicated ones. Sometimes I do have to do hymns for church and things like that. So when I was able to do that, um, when I could read the notes live, so my brain's literally sight reading on the spot. When I come to read the chords, I can sight read it a lot faster. So for me, comprehension and things like that, learning new rhythms and, you know, getting technical and studying it, that's what it really helps. If you're just a musician out there, you're doing everything by ear, that works as well. Um, so it's totally up to you, it's personality based. Um, there's no one way to do 
do the thing. Ultimately, it's about playing the notes and making good music. Well, in your opinion, everyone's opinion is different. So that's what I would say about that. Um, what else? Perhaps the greatest determinant of success in learning guitar is persistence and consistent practice. Progress may be slow and incremental. Um, uh, and setbacks are inevitable. However, those who persevere through challenges and maintain a regular, regular practice routine uh, are more likely to experience tangible improvement over time. So setting realistic goals, breaking down complex techniques into manageable tasks, and seeking guidance with experienced instructors or online resources can also contribute to more effective learning experience. If you want a free class to help you with all of these things, go ahead and book it. GuitarJourneyWaybridge.com slash self dash appointments really catchy domain there <laughs> but if you can find a link go ahead and find that so learning it to play the guitar is rewarding i found it very re rewarding myself yet challenging endeavor that requires dedication patience and perseverance i've been playing for 23 years now while the initial stages may be accompanied by physical discomfort and technical difficulties, aspiring guitarists can overcome those obstacles through consistent practice and a willingness to learn by embracing the journey and staying committed to their musical goals. Individuals can discover the joy of playing the guitar and unlock their creative potential in the process. So how hard is it to learn the guitar? The difficulty may vary for each individual, but their passion and determination, anyone can embark on this fulfilling musical journey. So if you put the hours in, you are going to succeed. It's not about how many years you've been playing, it's how many hours you've been playing. So if you've played for 10 hours in one week compared to someone who's done 10 hours over one year, who's going to be better at the end? Okay, so get the hours in and I'll see you in there. Take care.